have used the ingredients of the master's program to restructure our mission statement for the organization. Uh, in terms of the um, organization itself, we recently had um, a situation where a long-term and valued employee is retiring, and Brenda Becker, who is one of my fellow students, worked with me to uh, reorganize uh, the uh, organizational structure to better achieve the long-term goals of the organization. When I think about what this is experience has meant to me, I think about the fact that I started this program last year and I was in a job position that I really liked. Probably the only job position I've ever liked. Um, but the MAGS program created and injected a passion into me for this field. Um, it's turned this into a career for me, and, and I really love being in the aging services. The great thing about that as well is that now I have 23 colleagues, friends, classmates who share that passion with me and who are going to work with me to create real, tangible, positive change for people out there who need us. Being part of the first cohort of the Erickson School has been an exciting opportunity to be part of a community that will hopefully change the way we're aging in the world. And the other, professionally, what's been very exciting for me is having the opportunity to really think outside the box and not have the constraints of the things that I have in my daily life at my job. I didn't have a budget that I have had to work with. I didn't have, you know, timelines and deadlines that were constraining me. So it enabled me to really think big and, and dream of the possibilities of the way that our world could actually be. The most valuable lesson that I have learned is that there's 79 million baby boomers coming and I know that I will be ahead of most people graduating because I know about this population and I know for a fact that I have a little bit of more of an edge when I'm going out there into the work world because I'm able to not only know about management and policy but to be able to put that into the aging population to where I can make a difference. The most memorable experience for me in this program was listening to John Erickson and Dr. Horbowski. They did a wonderful job of really talking about their life stories and their experiences, what really shaped them and has driven them to this, the success that they've achieved. And uh, it's, it really gave a great outlook for us that that's possible for any one of us. If you have the drive, the ambition, and desire, we can all be successful as well. I have been waiting for a program like the master's degree through the Erickson School for a long time. Been working in senior care for 16 years and I had really wanted to further my educational experience and had looked at many programs, but this is the only one that touched on all the aspects of what I needed to, to grow in my career. The most valuable lesson that I learned here at the Erickson School um, is how to create a business. Um, I find that I have a lot of ideas on how to service the, um, the aging population, and this program helps me to develop those ideas into a business, which is um, a senior travel service. The MAGS experience has had a profound impact on my life, uh, both uh, personally and professionally, in terms of the way I understand and approach aging itself and aging services uh, in the City of Baltimore and at the Commission on Aging. Uh, I've applied a number of the concepts, constructs, and frameworks that we've uh, used throughout uh, the MAGS program to really make changes uh, at the Commission on Aging in Baltimore City. I would have to say the most memorable moment would be the bizarro exercise that we did with uh, Dr. Thomas. Um, it actually brought the, the whole uh, class together because there's a lot of times saying, geez, I don't know how any of this relates to anything, um, but it's a nice combination in, in terms of having to, do, having to do that and being able to see the creativity of the other folks that are in the class. Experience has given me personal career goals. I know what I want to do with my life. It's given me a pathway to follow. I know I want to work with the aging population. What exactly I want to do, I'm not quite sure yet. I think I'd like to eventually be the director of residential life. I like working with seniors, not just for them. So I think it's given me a career goal. The most valuable lesson that I've learned, I guess, would be not to think that you're done learning. I believe that there's more to do, more to learn, 
more things that we can take away from not just this experience, but other things in life that you can learn from. Um, learning about what old people are for really helped me understand the whole encompassing a part of this program. And I think that I'm able to um, go right to the workforce, talk to people differently, learn th things from every breath of people that I walk with and talk with, and try to also share what I have to learn. But just walking away knowing that my journey of learning isn't ended, my leadership style hasn't finished, and that there's still more to do. What the master's program means to me personally is I was absolutely amazed at the things I found out that I could do. And uh, that includes understanding accounting and uh, economics and subjects I really didn't have a lot of experience with in my undergrad or throughout my life. So I was absolutely amazed that I could do these things. And uh, I also did love this opportunity because I've learned so much. I've learned the uh, ins and outs of policy, analyzation, and uh, ethics how ethics impacts everything we do. It's found in the research and intergenerational uh, treatment of one another, and I just it's just been so valuable to me. Well, the most valuable lesson that I've learned um, is that we have a lot of work to do. This is not just gonna end with this program. This aging field, aging services, has a tremendous amount of opportunity. Um, the, the amount of change that needs to happen um, in order to accommodate our elders that are coming of age. Um, I, I think just learning about the opportunity that's really ahead of us and, and, and changing the way we care for our seniors has been the, the biggest eye-opening um, part of this program for me.